Welcome or welcome back at C Square. In this lesson, we're going to talk about percent of change. And the percent of change is nothing else than a ratio of the change in an amount to the original amount expressed as a percent. So let's take a look at this example. The original is 15 and the new one is 21. We already notice 21 is larger than 15, so we have an increase here, by the way. But let's see what is the percent of change. And there's an easy formula to remember, if you like formula, which says new minus original over original. That's the way you find the percent of change. So in this case, we have 21 minus 15 over 15 which means nothing else than 6 over 15. And if you want to find the percent of change, you have two choices. You can do 6 over 15 equals R over 100. Then you do a cross multiplication here and you find R. Or another way will be to do simply do 6 divided by 15, which I'm going to do it. 6 divided by 15, and that will be 0.4. And move the decimal dot twice, this decimal dot twice to the right, and that will be 40%. If you choose this way, you are going to end up with an R of 40 doing cross multiplication. And by the way, this one, like I said, is an increase. It goes from 15 to 21. On the second example, you notice the original is 43, the new one is 80, 28, so that will be a decrease. The formula is the same, new minus old over original, in fact, over original. And we have 28 minus 43 over uh, 43. And that will be here 15, in fact, negative 15 over 43. Again, you can uh, use uh, ratios to solve this one if you want negative 15 over 43 equals r over 100 and you find r or another way like i said is simply do this division 15 negative 15 divide by 43 and that will be negative 0.3488 i'm just going to use the first four decimal that will be good enough Move the decimal twice, and that will give us negative 34.88%. So the decrease here is 34.88%. Well, application of percent of increase or decrease is, uh, for example, this problem. Uh, so we have real-life application. Tennis Academy increased by 4.2% present the summer camp if the new uh, fee is 370 per we find the original cost so uh, original cost is the uh, thing we need to find out i'm going to call it x the new one is 370 and we know this one is 4.2 percent and now let's use what i uh, try to emphasize in the first part this one will be 4.2 over uh, 100 if we change in a fraction. Of course, this one will be the same with 42 over 1000 if we multiply the numerator and denominator by 10. And if we simplify this by 2, we end up with 21 over 500. Either one, either one will work fine for my next step. But I'm going to choose the last one. And uh, my next step will be to write to use this formula we use here, new minus uh, original over original. In this case, this becomes 370 minus x over x. And this quotient here, this uh, ratio is nothing else than one of these three. So I'm going to go with the last one, like I said, 21 over 500. And how I find x here, cross multiply. So we have 370 minus x times 500 
equals 21 times x. A distributive property here, and I'm going to use a calculator. Here, 500 times 370, that will be 185,000 minus 500x equals 21x. So we want to solve for x. So I will add 500x here to get rid of this minus 500. Don't forget to do the same thing on the other side. And we have 185,000 equals 521x. And the last step will be to divide by 521 to get rid of this 521. Don't forget to do the same thing on the other side. And we end up with an x equal Uh, 355, and I'm going to round to the nearest cents, when will be 0 0.9. That is the uh, original cost per week, the fee, $355.09. The price increased by 4.2%, and the new cost is 370 That's the meaning of the math we did here. Another real-life application for a percent of change is sale tax and discount. So the first one problem I'm going to show you is the sale tax. We have a pair of shoes, which is $25.99. The sale tax is 7%. So here I'm going to change this one in 0.07. Again, move the decimal dot twice to the left. And um, that is a way to get this decimal. Of course, you can, use, you can use 7 over 100 if you want. We're going to have this 0 0.07 times the price of the shoes, $25.99. Let's do that on the calculator. And that will be 1.8193. This is the amount of the sell tax, $1.82 extra for the pair of shoes. I'm going to round it at the end. So the last thing I'm going to do now here is $25.99, the price of the shoes before tax, plus this tax. Now I know how much it is. And that will be 27. I'm going to round it to the nearest cent, 27.81. This is the price after tax for a pair of shoes that is $25.99, and the tax is 7%. And the last problem in this lesson is going to be about a uh, discount. And you notice we have a big bicycle, which costs $134.89. Now we have a discount of 40%. That will be 0.4. Again, you move the decimal dot twice to the left, or you use the uh, 40 over 100 if you want. Now we're going to multiply this 0.4 times 134.89. Let's see how much that is. And I end up with 53. And I'm going to copy all the small 956. And this number here, in fact, means the discount you get if you get that 40% off. So the last thing I'm going to do here, 134.89 minus 53.956 and I end up with 80 point and I'm going to round to the nearest cent 80.93 so that will be the price if you get the is the get that discount of 40 percent off and that's it if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back and see Square for more help. Thank you.